Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a first impression and demo of the new Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. And this was one of the new products from the new Urban Decay Summer Collection that released just earlier this week. And so I picked this up and I'm in the lightest shade and it only comes in six shades right now. And so I'm in the lightest shade which is light. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It is currently only available at Urban Decay's website and it retails for $30. $34 and you do get 1.3 fluid ounces so as you can tell I don't have any face makeup on I've gone ahead and primed one side of my face for the demo or we're gonna really try it out literally first impressions for the first time and do this together so let me tell you a little bit about the product just so you know because when I purchased it I was like yes I want it but I was like I don't really know what it does <laughs> so it's supposed to be it says, Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector combines all the benefits of skin treatment and protection with the coverage of a sheer foundation. This multitasking cream is the best of both worlds. Instantly blur imperfections and even out skin tone for beautifully perfected ultra definition skin. Naked Skin One and Done gets the job done so well that there's no need for foundation. Hmm, that's an interesting claim. Our high-tech weightless formula provides all-day wear and feels amazing, but the best part is how it transforms the look of your skin. Light diffusing spheres instantly help make flaws seem to disappear. Over time, pores look smaller and the skin appears noticeably firmer and more radiant. And our broad range of easy to match shades covers a wide spectrum of skin tones. So those are all the things it's claiming. And like I said, this is going to be a first impression because my package got here late. I was so sad. It was supposed to be here a couple days ago and then there was problems with the leasing office. Like I got delivered there and like I get off work too late and blah, blah, blah. So. I'm just now getting the products, and so I wanted to get this up for you guys as soon as possible, which is why I'm doing a first impressions and a demo, and then I will come back in about a week after I've had a good chance to try it out and give you guys my final thoughts and review. So I'm going to zoom you guys in now so we can do the demo. Alright guys, now that we are up close and personal, I'm going to take the lid off, and it is a nice pump, which is really nice. So I went ahead and pumped about two on here. It does look like maybe it's going to be a tad too dark. Unfortunately, this is the lightest shade, but I have gone ahead and primed this side of my face with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, and then this side I did not do anything. And then I know you can go in with your fingers with products like this. I'm just not a huge fan of using my fingers. Like, I don't really personally like it. So I'm going to use a Morphe E6 brush to see how this goes. I'm going to be holding up a mirror. So let's say it's definitely very, very sheer. I mean, it's not supposed to be a foundation or anything like that. I just want to see how it looks. Definitely need more than two little pumps that I used because <laughs> this is going to need a lot more. Got more on here now. Hopefully that's not too much, but let's see. I guess when I put it on, the color is not as bad as I was expecting. Ooh, it's running on this side now. Let's see. Now, of course, I have like too much product. So I will say I can't tell a huge difference when applying it between the primer side and the side without primer. So now So it does actually build up pretty nicely right here. I was building it up for a little bit more coverage on my cheeks. And it does build up really nicely. Let's use the last little bit up. So there we go. I used all that on my face. And I will say it looks really nice. It's not as bad as, not to say as bad as I was expecting, but I mean, when they say a sheer coverage kind of look, you never know what that means. Does that mean like you're going to see a ton of redness underneath or anything like that? But this is how it looks up close. It actually does look really nice. Um, 
I will say it did a really good job of really like blurring and filling in my pores around my nose. Um, it definitely, this side that's unprimed looks just as good as the prime side. So I don't find, at least with the primer that I used, that there was any benefit to using a primer with this specific product. And I think maybe that's because it's an all-in-one product and they're supposed to be giving you those blurring effects and everything by itself. So I do think that's really cool that you clearly don't need a primer, that it does all that by itself so that's a plus that's one less product you have to use um, I would have preferred if it was like half a shade lighter um, than this light shade if they had a fair shade I probably would have picked that one up instead but this is not too bad actually not that bad and I do have a white mixer I could mix with it if I wanted to but this is really really not that bad actually not too too bad so again would have preferred if there's a fair shade but I can make the light shade work and I'm actually really impressed with how like blurred and perfected this area looks like because that's usually the part that like shows the worst effects first where it looks like the most cakey or it's collecting here or you see you know big pores and I'd say that it really does a good job of blurring I would say the number one thing I'm noticing right now is that it does a good job of blurring like you can see right here I have redness because it's not a foundation or anything like that so it's not gonna do anything for that but if you're wanting like some kind of just like no hassle like kind of product to put on your face to just you know go out on like a Sunday and run some errands and you want just like a little bit of coverage and make your face look flawless I think this would achieve that that's usually what I do like usually Sundays are my no makeup kind of day so I think this would be really great for those days where I want just a little bit of flawlessness and have like a smoothing effect but not feel like I have a ton of product on my face so so far I'm really impressed by it zoom you guys back out a little bit but so far I was saying I'm pretty dang impressed with it um I think it gives your face a really nice flawless look so I'm excited to try this out I definitely like it said I will say I'm surprised where it was like, oh, you don't need to go in with foundation. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love myself a flawless, full coverage foundation. But this really doesn't look as bad as I was expecting, considering it's not a foundation, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't have high expectations because I usually will not be impressed by stuff like that. I need, like, at least medium coverage. But I actually really like the way it looks. However, I do have really clear skin right now. Um, yay! My skin's loving me for once or is loving me again. So I also like it from that aspect because I'm not covering up a bunch of acne or tons of dark spots. I have like one little spot right there, but whatever. So I think I also really like it right now because my face is really clear. But I don't think you need to use a primer with the product. And I think like for, for me personally, because I like a more full coverage foundation and stuff like that, this is perfect for me on like days where I don't want to wear makeup, but like still be put together. This will look really good. So I'm excited to keep trying it out and it does dry pretty quickly. I probably would still go in with a powder to set it just because I don't like the feeling of like tackiness on my face or product on my face. I like just having a smooth powdery finish, but it does give you a really nice like not luminous, but there's something about it. It gives you a nice sheen to your face. It's not a matte finish whatsoever. I'd say it's like a demi-matte. It's really pretty. So I'm really impressed so far. My first impressions are that I am liking this product. So I'm excited to try it out all week and let you guys know my final thoughts on it and how long it wears, how it does with, you know, powders and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and demo of the new Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give a thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts down below on what you guys think of this product too and what your first impressions are so I will see you guys very soon bye